So three months later, how many people have signed up to pay $5 a week or $260 a year to get unfettered access to Newsday? Well, I mean, I mean, Newsday, these executives know nothing. People will not pay $260 for your newspaper. If it was $595 for a year, you would have gotten probably 10,000 members. If you would have made it simple to do, where somebody just got a membership off their cell phone by texting, and then they, they get the code back, we're trying to move to that. I mean, believe me, I know how to innovate. I, I could, if I could just get my basic management going and get the funding, and I mean, we, the sky's the limit if plans I had three years ago would have been launched. I mean, it is, and I'm not complaining. It, it's it, it's just hard to manage things, especially when you're working all the time. I'm on Russia today, radio interviews, you know, just endless work. Got to see my family. Um, but I know what to implement for us to even be, you know, we're kicking their butt. But, I mean, I could just annihilate them if I would have made myself three, four years ago crack the whip and do what I needed to be done. But I don't like expanding. I don't like having to hustle for more money to fund myself. But I know that that is what must be done if we're really going to beat these people. But Newsday, here's a message. Make it $4, $5, no more than $10. People might subscribe. I forgot to turn my phone off, guys. We it's in here ding-donging. <laughs> here, let me see who's calling. I'll answer it on air. I have no idea who this is. Here, let's see who it is. Hello? Who's this? Dean Haglin. I thought I needed to answer the phone. You know, I'm live on the radio, bro. Yeah, no, I... I I added an hour to the show about a year ago, sure. Hey, uh, what's going on, bro? Absolutely, I'd like to have you in studio if you're coming to town. What do we have open on Friday, producers? <laughs> it's funny, I never answer calls on air. Uh, one time Charlie Sheen called me, and I, I answered it on air, but well, what time? Hey, how about you come in for an hour on uh, on Friday? Well, listen, let me let me let me hand the phone off to Jaron or Matt Ryan or one of my producers, and then we'll give you our new address. And uh, let me get you in studio, man. Take care, buddy. Don't hang up. Here's Jaron. Here's Jaron Nyhart. Thanks. <laughs> That's funny. Dean Haglund, star of X Files and Lone Gunman and a lot of other movies and films. Remember, he came and told us about how the CIA was telling him what to do in their scripts. They ran six months before 9-11 a uh, piece on uh, the lone gunman where the government hijacks a plane to fly to the World Trade Center to get martial law and attack Afghanistan. And they used drills to make NORAD stand down and the rest of the military to stand down during the attack because the rest of the military obviously doesn't know it's a staged event. <clears throat> And the good old CIA just wanted the people to hear that. What is their problem? They're, they're psychopaths. They, 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 they like to throw this in your face. Maybe that could be a new thing where I just have the phone here and uh, we like patch it into the, in, in, into the uh, microphones and they call Hold on. Hey, yeah, what's up? I could really multitask. You know, we're already setting up guests on air and already doing research on air. I mean, you get to see the sausage making here. You get to see the blood, the guts, the... You know, the whole process here, or the candy making, or the wine making, stomping on the grapes, whatever parallel analogy uh, that you want to use. Okay, let me get into real news blitzing now. I got stuck on that. Man, there is so much here. So much here. Where's that key stack? I had a key stack. Of, oh, here it is. Um, you know, this happened a few days ago. Paul Watson wrote about it yesterday. Potential false flag to be blamed on Muslims foiled. Prisonplanet.com. And it says, a Navy vet caught with grenade launcher maps of military bases and Arab headdress. Hmm. And then Watson goes through how it's obviously a false flag. It has every earmark. I mean, sometimes when you look out on the lake and you see a duck, it's a decoy. Somebody who was duck hunting left it out in the lake. But generally, you see a duck, it's a duck. So it, you know, this might one out of a thousand not be a staged event, but it, it, it's, we see it swimming around out there. It's probably on a decoy. Um, remember 
2005 in Iraq, British Special Air Services get caught dressed up like Muslims running around shooting at military and police. And then they captured them and it came out it was a staged terror attack. And remember Ray McGovern on the show, top CIA analyst, when it came out that our government blew up the Golden Mosque to get the Shiites and Sunnis killing each other again. So they could then say, oh, look, we put down the uprisings and later declare victory. Uh, and every other provocateur action, people end up calling it in and it gets stopped. A possible false flag terror attack to be blamed on Muslims has been foiled after a Navy vet was busted with a grenade launcher, assault rifles, and hundreds of rounds of ammunition, as well as Arab headdresses. But he isn't a Muslim and... <laughs> Uh, didn't have the beard, any of it. In New Jersey yesterday, initial media reports speculated that the man was planning a terror attack on U.S. military base in the area. Lloyd Woodson, 43, whose last known address was Reston, Virginia, today faces multiple offenses, including second-degree unlawful mass uh, weapons, uh, unlawful weapons possession, and fourth-degree possession of prohibited weapons. Somerset County Prosecutor Wayne Forrest said, "There's about a five percent chance he's just crazy." Or that it's a setup, but it, it, it looks bad. Um, Brockburg police confronted Woodson at 3.55 a.m. at the Quick Check convenience store on Route 28 after receiving a call reporting a suspicious person. See, local police stopped it. Uh, Brockenburg patrolman Steve Kronz noticed a large bulge beneath the green military-style jacket that Woodson was wearing, which was later determined to be an assault rifle with a, a defaced serial number. That's how they went after him. Uh, Forrest said. After search, but said they had probable cause. After searching his hotel room, police found a grenade launcher, hundreds of rounds of 50 caliber, 308, a police scanner, as well as Middle Eastern red and white traditional headdress. The man may have had plans to attack a U.S. military base, and it goes on from there. All right, we're going to come back in the final segment with more news blitz. Stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. Stay the course. Final segment straight ahead, then I break down in great detail. The Geithner situation, it's key.